Get your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free. You use timelines in Excel to visually filter date-based data within pivot tables, pivot charts, and power pivot tables and charts. Timelines are simply date-based slicers. Unlike slicers, however, timelines are not available for regular worksheet tables. To insert a timeline into a worksheet, select either a pivot table, pivot chart, or power pivot table or chart in a worksheet. Then click the Timeline button in the Filters button group on the Insert tab of the ribbon to open the Insert Timeline dialog box. This dialog box shows the names of any date-based fields in the associated tables of the selected object. Click to check the checkbox next to the name of the field by which to filter the data with a timeline. Then click the OK button to add a timeline for the selected object into the worksheet. To reposition a timeline panel in the worksheet, Click and hold down the mouse button on an area without buttons in the Timeline panel. Then drag and drop the Timeline panel into a different location in the worksheet. To resize the Timeline panel, click and drag the resizing handles that appear around the perimeter of the Timeline panel. The Timeline panel shows buttons in a slider that represent the time periods of the time values from the selected data field. To filter the associated object, click the buttons within the slider to choose the date values to show in the associated object. The associated data object then only displays records that match the filtering values within the timeline panel. To select multiple date choices in the slider to filter for multiple values if desired, use the multiple selection technique of holding the shift key and then clicking multiple buttons in the timeline slider to select multiple adjacent date buttons. Alternatively, you can also click and drag over adjacent time periods in the slider to filter for only those dates too. However, you cannot select multiple non-adjacent dates. To clear any applied timeline filters, Click the Clear Filters button in the upper right corner of the Timeline pane. You can also click the Time Increments label in the upper right corner of the Timeline and then select another time increment to display within the Timeline from the drop-down menu that appears. To delete a Timeline, click the Timeline pane to select it. Then press the Delete or Del key on your keyboard. Alternatively, right-click the Timeline pane and then select the Remove Timeline command from the pop-up menu to delete it. Like what you see? Pick up your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free.